And welcome back to Front Mission 4. I'm the voice of Dog, with me is a raving loon. We took care of some, some issues at the docks. We had to fight our Russian friend. Twice. So now what? Oh, we're leaving. We're going back to central Venezuela. Okay. The we ocean want... has failed us. Yeah, back to the mountains. We really screwed this whole thing up. This is not good for us. <laughs> so we're just carrying her around with us? Welcome aboard. You're uh... part of this now. She's not State Army, Schaefer. Thank you. Okay, just... Look, when you win the battle in the Giant Crab, you can ask the questions. As it stands right now, that's just not how it works. <laughs> oh man, is she going to be disappointed? <laughs> well, we're kind of covert. Sort of. Nah. <laughs> I love that. Well, I guess you're going to have to kill me. Nah. Nah. We don't care. We don't care that much, actually. Congratulations, Lady, we don't. you found... The three people on all the front mission Earth who don't have an ulterior agenda. Yeah, we're not doing any false flag ops here. We're not working for anybody. We're just here. Hello. And we found this Vonzer Smith. Who is, on the <laughs> who road. is this? No, we're fine. We're fine. Nothing illegal is happening here. Just another motorist passing by. Excuse me, do you need a hand? You all right? Okay, he does have a shop, though, so... Where'd you get that kind of hardware? So it seems like the uh, the market is pretty good for parts right now with this, with this civil war going on. There's just this ice cream man, but <laughs> it's an arms dealer. Wandering through neighborhoods. Yeah, he just has the he Looking has the ice cream jingle units. on his truck. <laughs> oh, lady, if you make Schaefer sad, help so help me God. Schaefer's sad portrait is magical. Yeah. Oh. Where are you people headed? Nowhere. We're not going anywhere. We're not even here right now. Do you understand me? This guy is just really willing to help out, it seems. All right, do we have any new parts? Probably not. Yeah, these are the same parts as I expected. Uh, same guns. Yeah. Same backpacks. Yep. And yes, to review some lore stuff, there are civilian giant robots that are used for, you know, regular people, non-military stuff as well. There's your forklift equivalent giant robots. Yeah. All right, looks like it's time to buy rank three, probably. What do we got here? Block damage 30, now that could be useful. That's three skill points for that though. 
Uh, so I'd probably take off Last Stand. Hmm. Also Link Points. Also Link Points can be integrated here. Probably Shotgun Level Up. Hmm. AP Up is pretty important too. I see a lot of things I need here, but not a lot of things I can afford. Oh, the maximum proficiency for all levels is three, for all weapons is three. So that's something we can reach relatively soon. Hmm. I got shotgun level. Yeah, that's going to help you the most often. Yeah. Especially since right now Daryl was the only one leading any combos, so he doesn't need right. an especially large bank of extra AP. And Renga still doesn't have access to link points. He So many skill slots though. Yeah, he gets a lot of skill slots. In case you want to have to be able to aim at every single different part. Oh, he's got blast shot in his fourth rank. That'll be good. Yeah, I don't care about the focus skills, really. And I got Panic Shot. I'm really more about damaging their... Yeah, so I guess I'll get... Hmm. Hey, thanks. T-Terog, too. To terog Yeah, none of these are really jumping out at me right now. Speed. Nah. Ten points for speed. I could save that for something else. Alright, and I guess Schaefer has to buy his third rank here. Yeah, high speed and blast shot equals uh, potentially knocking down the enemy before they can hit you. And that would require several points. So... Where are we going now? Any idea where we are? Away from here. Nope. You? No. We should probably ask for directions at that village. They may know the shortest way out of this place. Man, Rangus's voice actor is really familiar too. And I can't can't quite put my finger hey on guys, it. Guys, wait! Look! You think they're looking for us? No, what do we got I don't here? I think so. They're not even in a standard search formation. Are these gorillas? You're right. Looks like their target's that village. I don't think they've seen us yet. They might be on a gorilla hunt. Probably. We're not just gonna sit here and watch, are we? Well, they have nothing to worry about as long as they aren't harboring any gorillas. The state army won't shoot without just cause, so... <laughs> well, the state army would never do anything wrong, so... No one would take drastic what actions the... in the middle of a civil war. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. This is some... some shit happening here. Latin American despots are well known for their restraint and respect for human life. <laughs> Get on your bonzers. What? If we don't hurry, they'll slaughter everyone in that village. All right, all right. I think one of my biggest regrets about this game is that they did not model the pixel, the 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 three polygon people models like they did in three. Did not create the tiny humans. 
and have tiny humans with pistols shooting at monsters. That was kind of ridiculous. Even more so, you got like the tiny humans with anti-material weapons Either could way, actually do relevant we damage. To get away. Taking them out now is our best option. You'd give your lives to protect that puny little village? A commendable action for a bunch of deserters. Shut up. Quiet, you. You do not get to have input in our adventures. Oh, that's right. We tied you up. Unless you you got a Vonzer and want to help out. Don't worry. We'll be right back. All right. See you later. Yeah, she's not going to escape while we're gone or anything, I'm sure. She's just going to stay put. That's, yeah. You guys are totally on top of this. Ooh, these guys have batons. Does that say VSA? Yeah, Venezuelan State Army. It's not USA. USA does not exist. All right, we got some helicopters. Shotgunners. Most of them are shotgunners. I think we are spec for this. Could use some more buddies, though. Could use some extra friends. If only we had some sort of fourth. Yeah. Yeah, if only. Unfortunately, we blew up her, her crab, so I don't think she's going to be joining us. Also, she hates us. No shot. Gonna have to move. It's a really big stick. Yeah, you know what? Since I can, aim up while we can. That was not up. So it's not really, <laughs> it's not guaranteed. It's aim, not legs. Oh, oh man, it just in the, already? Colonel, I've come to get you out. Oh, okay. Yeah, Vavilov has been following us probably, I would imagine. Vavilov. Let us hurry. We must leave before they come back. Every time I see it, I think Valvoline. You know, like Wait, the oil manufacturer. What's going on here? Ah. I'm not sure, but it looks like those UCS monsters are trying to protect the village. Then we have to help them out, don't we? Hey! Is this a fourth so and a fifth? When, when the plot oh, talks about us being recognizably rich. American wonders when we've already started to Frankenstein our robots. Fighting. Yeah. Deserters. That's what they really are. We don't need to bother with them anymore. And the Russians realize, oh wait, this is stupid. This doesn't involve us. We gotta get out of here. Never mind, I we're see. leaving. Shall I retrieve the whole device then? <laughs> no. They may prove useful yet. Leave it. But keep the tracker on them, just in case. Understood, Let's watch sir. from a distance. Yeah, this could be fun. Okay. Ah, cool. 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 That's we got a grenadier there. Yeah. Nice. Enes in Guardia has... A grenade launcher and a fist. Luis. Shotgun and machine gun. And a backpack. Item backpack. Ines already also has an item backpack with two full refills of grenade launcher. Let's try out this grenade launcher. What is the range on this thing? It takes 12 AP to fire. And has that much range. So maybe not, maybe we won't fire it this turn. Well, let's see if I can get it directly on one of those guys. Yeah, yeah two steps is enough to get you to hit both of them. Mm. 
Yeah, if I... It won't be... It won't be... Well, Luis should move first. That way I can... Yeah, you want him standing where Luis is. Yeah, Luis is just gonna walk up to these guys. He's got piercing armor, so let's give him the shotgun. From a bit of a distance, but... Oh, block damage 30. That's a guard. That's just a flat guard against my attack. Those are her. Sorry. You got them mixed up. Here we go. <clears throat> yeah, but our grenades actually do damage. That th This is worth noting. The, the grenade we saw in the Blair Naval fight was trash. It was worthless. It's extremely they important. They have a larger area of effect than these, I think. No, or they don't. Damage. Or do they? They they have more or less range. I, fe I think this one is a smaller blast, but more intense. Yeah. Which is going to be preferable in most situations. Yeah, block damage 30 seems like a pretty powerful ability, to be frank, and I'm probably yeah. going to try and invest in that as soon as possible. Does Schaefer have a headshot? Schaefer? No. No, Schaefer's way too far away. No, oh, those guys are running for it. Oh no, the gorillas! Run! God, that is... What a good hit. Those batons are just like the most satisfying thing in the game. I can't wait till I get one of those. Sorry, I can't wait till I get two of those. Block damage 10 will not help. Why do I have that equipped still? Getting stuck between two of these guys who are linked together is super dangerous, and we're not gonna have that happen. We're not gonna let this, uh, we're not gonna let them wail on us. He does have piercing armor, so. Okay, got one of his arms. Nice. Oh, almost. Yeah, the shell casings have to be the size of people. Are they... Do they have EMP backpacks? Let's see. That's an assault. These guys are jammers. Do they have an EMP backpack? No, they've got no backpack. They are they are not jammers, I guess. No, also, these guys are running for it. They're booking it. Yeah, I can't keep up with them. All right, we'll just chase them. sound on his machine gun. Yeah, you don't have a shot there. <laughs> and they're called jammers because they 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 jam. Yeah, you guys fight with us. Uh, yeah. If you're gonna step close to me, I can use the heavy pile. Poke him. Give him the poke. A charged poke. Oh. Daryl. 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 Alright, Daryl, here's your chance. Oh god, they're all ganging up on you, Daryl. Hang in there. There you go, that's how it's done. I'm glad that they added, they just added those two characters to our roster. So now we have five characters. 
Here's your friends. All right, now for you. Excellent start. Have that guy's HP. Okay, I stood in front of Schaefer so he didn't have a shot. Also, wow! Can we finish him? No, not likely. Hey, he's still... So in Link Battles... All right, Schaefer's got it. In Link Battles, the bot is standing there so he can get in the way, it seems. I think that's the way that this game is trying to do that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at how it's eating them up. Granted, it's unfocused and it's hitting all of their parts, but, you know, with support, we can make that much more effective. Ah, oh, damn it. Andy dodged, just to add insult. Andy's doing it again? Andy dodged again? The nerve of this guy. Oh, Jesus! State Army ain't fucking around. We need to get rid of this dude and get Schaefer, or, or get, yeah, get Schaefer over there to heal him. Good escape! Good escape. Cancel that attack. Nuh-uh, you didn't, t you didn't attack. That doesn't count. You didn't hit me. Okay, so we got rid of that guy. Now we have this helicopter. Rengus, you have a shot. Okay, you do. So... I might be able to take this guy out this turn. With the shotgun. And the linked attack. But everyone's got to hit their shots, is the thing. That's a good start. It's not gonna kill him, though. Not this turn. Come on, get him. Get him. Ah, oh, went wide. Okay, Schaefer. Um, yeah, you know what? You get you get over here. You go on a you go on a trip. could just not proc that once, please. It's alright though, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt! Yeah, so Inez cannot really move that far and use the grenade launcher. It takes planning to use, or, you know, later in the game when we have more AP. Maybe that would be a different kind of situation. Yeah, now I gotta try and get Schaefer over there to rescue Louis before he dies. His grenades are doing the job, sure, but not fast enough, and they're not focused, so they're not taking out any arms. In fact, I don't even know if I have time to mess around with this helicopter. I may need to get over there like, now, because those other two guys are coming down in that helicopter. Helicopter is firing on Enes now. She's got a lot of HP, though, fortunately. Louise seems to be a much lighter, lighter model.
Rankas, your arms are so weak. Scary. Scary to have those those spindly little arms that could get snapped off at a moment's notice. Do you guys have a link? You guys don't have a link. All right. Problem with Luis is that I keep moving away from Schaefer. When he should really be moving towards Schaefer. Oh, he's got items. I forgot about that. Alright, well, this can get it started. Keep his body up. Surely, between the three of us, we can handle these guys and that helicopter before Daryl and Rangus get here. Good. A part went down. Oh, he's down. He's dead. That tipped him over. Good, good. All right. This isn't gonna kill him, probably, but unless you double proc rapid fire. Nope. Very close, but not enough. All right, your friend is gone, so you're much less dangerous. We got two more guys and a helicopter at full health here. Of course, we still need to take care of, we need to mop up these guys this turn. Inez can continue to absorb some damage here. Finish him, please. Thank you. Might as well take the shot. Yeah, focus up. Do it. Do it. You got this. You got this. All right. I'll take it. All right. Schaefer has arrived. Finish him off with this. Luis, get your first kill. Yeah, there it is. All right. Now we can regroup. Ines can get that ammo back. These guys are walking into range very soon. Yeah, wasn't there like a new battle BattleTech game? Is yes. that the right Where's franchise? It? Yeah, yes. I don't really know anything about those games. So, but uh, Doc said they were pretty good. It was pretty good. Pretty all right. It still has some launch jitters that haven't finished being patched out, but mm -hmm. the core design is solid. That's good. Oh yeah, because it was the Shadowrun Returns people. That's why I took notice of it because I like their stuff. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, if you haven't played it, Shadow the, the Shadowrun Returns games are real neat. If you want to play, like, a Shadowrun campaign, some pretty well-written Shadowrun campaigns in more of a, in, you know, a not pen and paper kind of setting. Hairbrain schemes. Yeah. Those are the guys. Very good writing in those games, too. Did you do, uh, you did Dragonfall, right, Lou? Yes. Yeah, Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball is some good stuff. Good times. Someday we'll run Hong Kong. Also good stuff, yeah. Okay, Luis, maybe I'll have you hang back for a turn until everyone is in place. Gonna maybe soften these guys up a bit. I should have just enough range, yeah, to get you in there. Less worried about the helicopter, more interested in damaging 
these mechs. Yeah, plus now Louise has room to counterattack. Luis, your accuracy. There we go. Man, everyone hates Luis. Though it is clear that these are gorilla mechs and they would probably go after them first. Like, oh, hey, those guys. Yeah, we've been looking for you. Thought you're gonna have a bit of a uh, bit of revolution here? I don't think so. Not on my watch. Say you want a revolution? Well, you're gonna have to sit down. Oh my God, someone hit something. Fucking scrub brush in the way is <laughs> causing everyone to miss. Oh, this terrain is not good for snipers, is it? And I cannot move. I have to take a shot. Alright. Let's do it. Take the shot. Oh. I guess it's time for some skull smashing. Yeah. Yeah, we are taller than these trees. This should not be in our way. Oh man, Luis. Everyone hates you. Okay, let's let's get Rangas in position here. Seems pretty good. Seems like a good shot. You're only to get one attack this turn, so might as well focus on the body. And there it is, good shot. Yeah, you know what? Let's go for you since it kinda weakened you a bit. All right, not a lot of body damage there. Hey, block damage 10 did some work. Almost. Daryl will finish this. Nope, I don't have a shot there. Your arm out. Punch him out. Punch him out. Yeah. Good punch. Sir, you are very much surrounded. No matter how much you hate Luis, I promise you, you're not going to win this fight. Please run while you have the chance. Small helicopter, you are not going to turn this battle around. Also, it is daytime now, so I am more accurate. The sun. Forgotten how it feels. Ring is within range to attack as well. That'd be nice, but I don't think he is. Kill this guy. 
Get him. Yeah. Can he punch the helicopter? No. We cannot... We Height differences will prevent melee from happening. Unfortunately. Alright, so I don't know which arm you have left functioning, but one of them has a gun on it, right, Luis? I can, however, just fire a grenade on this guy. No, am I not allowed to shoot there? No, do I have to target Guess someone? Not. Weird, I thought I could have just attack an area. I think being up means you can't grenade it. Maybe. Yeah, this may not be a grenade target. There may be no applicable target, so the game is just like, nah, can't do that. Sorry. Oh man, he's out of range. He has successfully ran away. Man, you helicopters. If I direct hit with a grenade, maybe, yeah. Once again, we are chasing down a helicopter, because that is the natural way of things. The eternal struggle between helicopter and giant robot. Man, I don't even have any accuracy on this guy. <laughs> and... dead. All right. Some points for our new characters. So why did you help us? We were not helping you. We weren't helping you. We were protecting the village, just as you were. Is this your village? No, but many of the people here were driven from their homes by Governor Diaz. Why would the state army attack them? Uh... Dictatorship? Diaz's orders. He cannot get to us directly, so he's having them attack villages at random, hoping to get some of us in the process. Oh, the extremely ethical way of putting down a rebellion in your country. It's us he wants, so it's our responsibility to protect these villages. Who are you? We are members of La Alianza de Libertad Venezolana. Um... Not gonna try to say that. The Venezuelan Freedom Alliance? That's better. They're a group of anti-government guerrillas. <laughs> Such an unpleasant word. We prefer to call ourselves revolutionaries. But what are UCS soldiers like you doing here? We're not terrorists, we're freedom fighters. You're both, actually. You're both. That's, that's how uh, it goes. It's a long story. Um, so, you know, you know so that guy... So are you the popular front or the people's front? <laughs> so you know that guy you really hate? We kind of stole a few hundred million dollars from him. Because a lot of the time in front mission, the robots are just direct stand-ins for infantry. They just do infantry stuff. Is that how they how they're kind of supposed to work? That's how a lot of the plots treat them. Right. Your, your squads just go do foot stuff. So you still have your like mechanized and your armor division, but it's in in place of your infantry. It's just giant men. Yes. Infantry, but larger. Also, the team finally realized that Ivanova disappeared. <laughs> uh, 
That's easy. All of this is because of Schaefer. So yes, guerrilla armies can afford robots the same way that guerrilla armies can afford any weapon. They do. They get money, and then they buy weapons. Ah, oh, cool, the Vonser Smith is in town. Get our pilot set up first. Ah, yes. Okay, so block damage 30. Uh, maximum AP. And that's good for now. Next, we'll get link points and skill slots. Right, gotta get rid of this and last stand. Block damage 30 is a pretty good investment, so as you saw in that battle, it worked against us plenty. Man, Rangus, you just don't have anything I want right now. Should I just buy your rank 4 shit so I can get to, like, Blast Shot and Terror Shot and... Yeah, I think I might. Wait, Terror Shot 2? Lowers target's evasion to a third instead of a half. I see. Okay. Well, Blast Shot seems better. However, it costs four skill slots, so I'm starting to see why Rangus has so many skill slots here. Also got Zoom 2 to just multiply your accuracy by 300% in case that's a thing you want to do. You want to be absolutely sure you never miss, ever. Hmm, I could get Blast Shot, but I have to give up Zoom and Escape. Or... Man, I am one point short of getting an extra skill slot. Well, I'll take it. No, actually, what I want right now is probably AP. But his charge is only 12, too, so... Screw it, take the Blast Shot. Make space for it. Get that stuff back later. Seven points. Anything I can buy that I need? No. Schaefer. Repair plus two. Yes. Block damage ten. Goodbye. Can also get damage 30. Ah, link points for Schaefer. Is that a thing that I want? It doesn't really matter right now because we don't really have the AP. And I don't really have the points to get block damage 30 on him yet. Maybe I'll just get his points up there. All right, so welcome, Luis and Ines. He's got double shot. Double shot two available from the start. How about that? They're giving him his double shot already. I'm good with that. Also, what's this? Skill trigger. Skill activation probability of all allies in a linked battle by 5%. Interesting. Interesting. Chain plus. Oh, chaining pro raise a skill chain probability of allies in linked battles. Sure. That I don't care about as much. 
Uh, we'll save his points. We'll save his points. Inez, anything we can get for you? Now, here's something interesting. Weight difference. Weight strike. The heavier your your uh, the heavier your mech is, the better because it will do the damage difference, the weight difference between you and the enemy. Also, just a flat experience uh, raise. Could also just uh, increase her rocket and her bazooka. Okay, so she has proficiencies for rockets and bazookas. So it seems like Inez is the heavy artillery from the back. That takes four skill slots. What has she got already? AP cost minus four. That could be very useful, but it does not work on grenades or rockets, so I don't see the point. It would work on missiles. Maximum yeah, movement up. The grenade launcher is not a natural weapon for her. No. She'd want to pivot over to missiles. She does have, she, oh, bazooka. That's not, bazooka yeah, is not yeah, grenade. Is there a bazooka in the shop right now? Show me, show me the bazooka. What, why are you surprised? You told us to go here. Oh, you were trying to steer us away from here, weren't you? I mean, you were really nice regardless, but... Yeah, we're here. Sorry. You don't want us here, but we're here. It just didn't come up in the previous conversation that we too were criminals. It's fine. We're cool. Show me the bazooka! It's not here. There's no bazooka. Shame. Okay, well, well the Thunderbolt is available in stores, but I don't need to buy one, because I already got one. Um... All right, five characters. Still the same stuff in the shop. New backpacks? No, no new backpacks. Uh, we'll equip, we'll get some replacement stuff here. Canyon, we got Canyon camo, which is what Luis and Inez have. Looks pretty good on Luis. I don't know about Inez, though. What do we got for you? <laughs> God, that's so ugly. The canyon is fine, actually. I don't want to have more characters with the same look. Nighttime is just this this gross green color. This swamp color. This is this is swamp camo. This should be swamp 3 camo. Is what this should be. Yeah, looks before weapons upgrades. That's correct. So let's see. She's got the Skull Buster. The Bone Buster is less good. Um, there's really nothing I can do with her right now. There's no new stuff. I could give her a shield, maybe, if she can afford it. Yeah, she she can afford the smaller shield that has 20% damage cut. Maybe, maybe s use that to find some better parts. She's got a Calm 200. That's right. She's got a lot of HP, so I'm probably not going to find something better for her. That isn't going to be a massive debuff. Yeah, like, I can bring her... Yeah, she she is specced for... And she's got good legs, too. Four movement, 12 evasion. Not bad. I do like the casual panning throughout the hangar as you have this menu selected. I kind of wish this would just keep going, but yeah. So, nothing else to buy here. No parts. 
All right. That's about it, I guess. No, wait. Luis. I did not check Luis. Wait, computer shop? What? What? Oh, this is how you spec into other things. Yeah, okay. Now, okay. Yeah, these are optional, but they are available. Oh my. Oh my. Look at these extensive sets. So if you need them, there they are. Pretty expensive. Okay, so... Good to know. Looks like we found an additional simulation somewhere and all that. Now let's take a quick look at Luis before I, uh... start. Man, I really want to give, like... Oh, no, I, uh, that's right. This is the team with someone who has a rifle. I was saying earlier that the Randall team does not have a, a rifleman, which needs... That needs to be addressed at some point, I think. Uh, let's see if Luis's weapons are up to date. The Gale SG. I don't think I've even seen that one before, so that must be an upgraded shotgun. Yeah. He has some good weapons that I have not seen before. They're probably, uh, like, a level above. He's got the Husky Mark V. Oh, okay, so he's, yeah. The gorillas have good equipment. Uh, armor type, probably uh, impact or piercing. Yeah, if you want, if if you want to have Rengas have a bunch of, uh, you can just do that. That's what we're telling them? Don't you think these guys would love to hear about how you stole some gold from, from, I was about to say Emperor Diaz. <laughs> Governor Diaz. Okay, yeah, this is the rebel leader. I mean, I can understand why you wouldn't want to tell people you have a hundred, uh, like two hundred million dollars in gold. Weird, they don't like the UCS that much. I wonder why. Yeah, originally they were fighting the UCS, but then the governor turned out to be a bigger problem. They might take it for the revolution. I mean, that is what I would expect freedom fighters to do. Oh, so the governor declared independence from the UCS. That I that detail slipped by me. Because <laughs> because of taxes. Tax fraud is the reason behind this entire conflict. One Of course. Of fucking course it is. <laughs> the rumor is he's got a lot of money and gold hidden away. <laughs> Schaefer, shut up, you idiot. 
Oh, it's all. We only have one fourth of his secret gold storage, I guess. They don't like us, but we help them, so... It's okay. These are these are the people who are, would be most friendly to us if they knew our actual situation and didn't want to take our gold. Rangus doesn't want to live the same life as these people. Wants to skip all that garbage. You can't help everyone. Okay, we talked to the villagers. To school. <laughs> Mod front mission for so Schaefer is just a dog. Whoa! This man! The Professor! Why does Professor only have one S? I want to hear this man voice acted. Yeah, really. This guy needs a voice actor. You're a Professor of Vonzers, aren't you? You swore you'd never get in the Vonzer again. <laughs> Schaefer, it's okay. This activity is on your level. You can handle this. God, was I right about this guy? Like, I don't remember this character at all, so... Yeah, it could be Professor. Is that how you... Is, is there some kind of pronunciation thing going on here? One of the S's gets lost. We might be able to trust Schaefer to play a round of football with a local child without betraying all of our secrets. Or firing a rocket. Is that another Russian? Are you guys dealing with them? Okay, it seems like we are... We are switching back. Meanwhile... European Council is having a bit of a discussion about the recent events. <laughs> okay, that's, yeah, getting right to the point here, huh, aren't you? What? We tried to defend the base after just barely getting there in time and setting up a trap for them that they were able to get through because of their attack vector. They were, they had planned around our, you know, all of our defenses. We're dealing with a very focused and, and near suicidal group of attackers. Because we don't trust you, Glacier, because you are probably part of this plot.
Also, yeah, we did kind of... We did keep the resource base from getting completely destroyed. We fought off some of the attackers. You wouldn't have been there. You were no help. In defense. Self-defense. Those acts of terrorism were committed in self-defense. This is a new face. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, we're getting sanctioned. Yeah, you're welcome, Poland. Glad you had your backs on this. Ugh! This keeps happening! <laughs> we saved Vapor! Vapor is alive because of us! Welp. Yeah, imminent EC resource shortage. Gee. This is exactly what they wanted to happen. Although, they didn't really get the impact that they wanted because of our interference. So, the Assembly is insisting that the UCS is responsible for these attacks. Now, accusations are being thrown around. <sighs> That's just comical to me. <laughs> just right away. Hey, uh, I hear you guys are a bit low on resources. You need some... You need some minerals. Immediately, Zaftra steps in. You guys want to trade? You want to do a trade? Wouldn't you know it, we just finished building this pipeline exactly up to the Polish border. Weird. <laughs> Where's this going to go? What is this machine in the background? Oh, okay. It's Okay, that's a helicopter taking off. Frederick, why are you still here? There's no story here. I mean, there is, but it's been shut down. Man, this guy just lets himself in wherever. I, I mean, yes, reporter, but... <laughs> yeah, right. How did you get in here? Oh, yeah, your security is really lax. Where did we meet this guy last? It wasn't here. This guy followed us around. Yeah, he barged in somewhere else right after a meeting. He is impressed that we predicted the resource base attack. Ah, Frederick is doing the other thing that he does. You know, walking up to people, tempting them with information, and then getting them involved in various things and conspiracies. <laughs> Not here. You have security here. We need to go out somewhere. Yeah, let's go to let's go to a bar. <laughs> with my bodyguard. I wonder if his bodyguard is another familiar face. That would be great.
This better be good, Frederick. Yeah, how much do you know? How good is your intel? That is all correct? Ah. But Frederick has been in uh, investigating the inside angle. This is the part that we really don't know anything about. Also, Latota doesn't like when people start blaming Zafter for things. Weird. <laughs> Fucking called it immediately. Oh, you didn't know? Look, if you work in Zafter for long enough, denying accusations of international crimes is just sort of a reflex. It happens automatically. <laughs> So, I hear you're from Zafter. I didn't do anything! A tree falls in the forest and you scream that Zafter was not responsible. <laughs> there were no Zafter and mechs in, in the vicinity at the time. It was the UCS. They have been trying to frame us for years. The UCS does not have a financial reason to instigate this conflict. On the other hand, Zaftra needs those import exports. That sweet import export money. Still, though, Mole and the German military. We have nothing on that. So, Frederick, we need your help. We probably can't do any research when we're when we've been officially disbanded. Yeah, we we did find evidence. It was destroyed though because all of our research was confiscated. Ah, something about Wagner. I don't think this guy is the FAI. I don't think that I don't think those guys are going to come into play. We're not really on that side in this game, so it doesn't seem likely we're going to run into them. Frederick has always been a a really gutsy freelance reporter. Like he, yeah, for any not familiar with the franchise, going right back to the first one, Fred is a freelance action reporter who tells the hot tales that no one wants you to hear. And they're legitimately pretty big. He always reports on this false flag, you know, covert ops bullshit. He's not going to be a, a mega CIA asset because he's on their kill list. He's on everyone's kill list. Yeah. Also, thank you for the resub, Mage Warren. He knows about the time they collaborated with the Oceanians to make brain cyborgs out of harvested veterans. Yeah, he was on top of that story. He got in with, like, the, the local terrorist group and found out all this secret shit. And he was the only person in that game who actually knew what was going on. At some point, he goes up to you and it's just, you guys are fucking idiots, you have no idea what's happening. Come with me to the brain lab and I'll show you where the real shit happens. He has covered wars before. That's why I'm glad he makes an appearance, because you know he's the real deal. We don't do anything now. Man, it, what does Lloyd do after Front Mission 1? I can't picture him doing anything but just putting a bullet in his head. 
Like, he just wants to die the entire game. And when the conflict is over, he doesn't feel any differently. He ends. He finally gets to bury his wife, and then... Whatever. He's done. All right, he joins the Huffman Independence Army. He decides to get in on that. Really? Yes, that's in the at least the epilogue to the DS port of Front One. Ah, okay. I didn't play that one, that version. Yeah, he joins up with the Spirit of Huffman. Oh yeah, okay, with with Geitz or whoever that guy was. Ha! <laughs> I can't afford a bodyguard. What do you think I am? No, but you should probably not, you know, just show up. We can give you an email or something. <laughs> Hermes a surprised face. He just looks like he's in pure terror right now. Oh, he's got something. What do we got? Do we have a lead? Uh, Hermes has been crunching some data. Brain cyborgs? Yeah, that is in, that is in a game. The base where you find the good data. <laughs> My face when the data is good. I like that immediately, now that we've been disbanded, Hermes is just, well, guess everything I do is illegal now. Output of rare materials is rising. Starting right after the attack in Poland. Wausau. Yeah, three has the genetic super soldiers. That whole plot. We were chasing Zaft. Well, I mean, we were chasing who was probably Wagner, I assume. I see. Oh, sad Hermes. Hermes didn't crunch the data fast enough and he's sad now. It's okay, dude. My algorithm failed you. My, my data. Hermes has been like pulling all of the data, the heavy lifting with data. Wait, where are we now? Where geographically are we now? Yeah, we also beat the German special forces. That wasn't a small thing. <laughs> Just bolted into the premier's office. Or no, what is what is her position? What is Allison's position?
Allison, we got all this data for you! Vice Minister. Probably like Foreign Affairs Minister. <laughs> if we can invade the... Oh man, we're... Oh boy. This seems like a pretty bold move. Look, if we succeed, just retroactively declare it a police action when you give us all our badges back. <laughs> our science badges. <laughs> our, our, our police science badges. Elsa's pretty gung-ho. I kind of like her. She's, she is way into this. Uh, you do realize this may destroy what little relationship we have with Zaftra, right? Yeah, but the EC is about to start probably putting sanctions on the UCS. All of these consequences are about to start getting thrown around here. We must use this confusion. Everyone was on vacation, I like that. Alright, we're unofficially back! Illegal research team! Yeah, it seems like we might be fighting the Blauer Nabel again pretty soon. There's Posh. Yeah, so we're gonna assault a, re a base and then invade Zaftra. Yeah, we need in we need some inside info on Wagner. You're the only one. Yeah, Bosch thinks it's just them. Bosch thinks they're heading the operation. Now we must prove our innocence. So we can be science cops once again. New stuff in the shop. Oh, you can buy- you can order back parts from the simulation. The online shop. How convenient. The internet. The internet. Can you feel the future? All right, that seems pretty good for today. I think I'll call it there. The Durandal is in a tight spot, but we have a plan. We're just gonna go fuck up some people. Got a new simulation too. Probably have some grinding to do. Uh, probably have some pilot setup to do. Yeah, everyone, everyone's got points to 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 spend. But we will do that next time, and maybe I'll do a uh, a tiny bit of grinding, a grind mission on the side to make sure we keep up with the rest of the game. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to grind with the other, with B-Team yet, but we'll have to do that at some point. So thanks, Loon, for hanging out. Thank you guys for watching today. This is a good game. I enjoy this game. It's not, it doesn't have quite the same craziness as some of the previous games. They've, they've almost like mellowed out a bit, but the, the core game that I enjoy is still there. Uh, and I think, uh, let's see what's going on here. Who's streaming right now? 
I see Ty is streaming some weird stuff. He's going to be doing something interesting later on called Jastronauts. So I hope you check that out. That'll be happening in probably like an hour or so. And we'll see you next Saturday for some more bots. <laughs>